Με ένα σιτήρι και ένα καλέμι, τα εργαλεία μου, τα χέρια μου και το μυαλό μου. Δεν θέλω τίποτα άλλο. Building with our own hands, with natural materials, it's something which is powerful. Εντάξει, όλα τα χωριά που, που έχουν πέτρα, εδώ το λέγανε, άλλοι το λέγανε κομπανίες και άλλοι το λέγανε μπουλούκι. Χτίζανε χωριά ολόκληρα, εκκλησίες, καμπαναριά. Είναι λίγο παράδοξο αυτό γιατί τα σπίτια αυτά υπάρχουν ακόμα. 100-200 χρόνια. It's a symbol of the local architecture and the skillful masons of this area. We are still trying to find out the secrets that all Bulukis used in the construction. There is a lot of knowledge which is lost and we are trying to rediscover and regenerate. Buluki is a traveling group of Masons. They used to travel all around in the Mediterranean and far away in order to construct elaborate construction projects since the 16th century up to the 1960s. The Buluki died from the time when they came to the tree, came to the cement. My father told me, I told him to leave the tree. Now he said, the master is the cement. That's what he said. I can't stand against him. In Greece, we still have few Masons who are still active. We are trying to collaborate with Masons and create new projects which combine the traditional knowledge with modern tools. We want to continue the tradition, preserve and restore constructions around us with the traditional building techniques. This new Buluki that we're trying to develop is an interdisciplinary group of uh, engineers, architects, different specializations, different professionals. There are 17 participants, mostly from cities all around Greece and some from abroad. We try to disseminate this knowledge mostly through hands-on workshops. They work together with masons on a daily basis on an actual construction project. Behind me you can see this is the old primary school. Here I'm still using the flat. We are constructing a new entrance, a stone masonry based on stone and lime mortar and also with traditional timber roof. And this is going to be our base for the next years. It's going to operate as a center for research and education on traditional building techniques and other traditional practices. As a first step, we initiated the process of cultural mapping along with the local community. We are documenting the bridges, the fountains, the water mills, the whole landscape, how it used to be, how it is now, and put them inside the digital map. It's a way for us and the participants to learn more about the heritage here, both tangible and intangible, and connect with the local community. Historical knowledge is a very imperative field from which we can extract many teachings about how to use resources in a more sustainable way, how to make modern architecture more environmentally friendly. I'm worried about the future because we witness the effects of climate change, massive industrial production, using so much plastic. The biggest thing about the modern way of life is the scale in which we consume, in which we extract resources. I think we have become extremely detached from nature, from the materials that we use. We definitely need a more human and nature balanced approach. What I love most about traditional building techniques is how you can learn to do something with your body. You understand materials and their quality and how this process was conducted for years, from knowledge passed from generation to generation. The first time I was in the 6th, 7th, because I brought my parents together and we brought our friends here because they brought our friends here. They brought our friends here. They brought our friends here. I brought the stones, I brought the stone, the stone, the stone, the stone, the stone, as a sofa. Then I brought a pile of plants, which were there, the plants, and I put it on the floor, I put it on the floor, and I put it on the floor again, which I put it on the floor later. He put it on the floor and put it on the floor, and put it on the floor, and put it on the floor, and put it on the floor. The feeling of the creation, because you have the power, you work with physical equipment, 
είναι πολύ μεγάλο. There is a lot of potential of growing the scale of these projects. A lot of the participants come to our workshops because they really want to build with their own hands. We're trying to include as many people as we can because this whole effort won't be successful if it's not done collectively. It was quite a rich experience for all of us. We understood a lot better the way life used to be here and the context in which this legacy of traditional building techniques of this area was developed. <laughs>